Becoming a VTuber in 2026 doesn't need to be expensive. In fact, let me show you some of the easiest ways and cheapest ways to become one. At the end, I'll show you each method in action using VTuber Omegle. Boop chat, let's get it. First up, we have Mannequin Character Generator, developed by AR14Works. This program is a 2D character generator for visual novels, JRPGs, and yep, you guessed it, VTubing. Creating your character is easy and straightforward. If you've ever made a character in a video game, it's basically that. Select from a variety of hairstyles, clothes, and facial features, or you can click this button right here to allow the program to automatically generate a character for you. The awesome thing is that whatever you make here is automatically rigged without you having to do anything, so long as you use the tracking software that it's paired with. Puppet string. I actually like this application so much that I made an entire video detailing a step-for-step -step guide on how to set everything up. You should totally watch that after this video. Link is up here and down in the doobly-doo. When everything's done, you should get something that looks like this. However, I understand that the effort it takes to set this up might be a little off-putting. So the next program requires no setup whatsoever. This is Nizima Live. Nizima? 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 Nizima. <laughs> a VTuber tracking application developed by the same people who brought us Life 2D. You know, the software responsible for bringing 90% of VTubers to life. So they kind of know what they're doing. <laughs> it's a plug and play all in one program where all you need to do is select a model. Yeah, and that's basically it. You're basically good to go once you've set up OBS to capture it. You have a lot of model options, male, female, and even a lime. I don't know, I, it's, it's a lime. <laughs> Nizma Live being an all-in-one also allows you to pick and choose pre-made backgrounds and even import items that you can attach to your model like this. Now no one will ever know I am actually a lime. <laughs> and as if that wasn't enough, you can also toggle expressions and animations like this. And if you're worried about the tracking being a little too stiff, well, no problem there at all because you can just adjust your parameters to move the way you move massively improving tracking quality. Heck, this thing even has its own version of collaboration rooms similar to VTube Studios. This all seems fine and dandy, but unfortunately there is a drawback in that the free version of Nizam Alive only allows you 40 minutes of continuous camera use, which means that every 40 minutes you'll have to restart the application, which can be annoying, but at least it's not totally blocked off. The paid version allows unlimited time, but comes at the cost of $3.60, a month. But while Nizam Alive only allows you 40 minutes of continuous tracking, the next program allows you to use it for as long as you want. This is VTuber Kit, another all-in-one package developed by Cupid. Unlike Nizam Alive, it's completely free and offers the same creation method as Mannequin Character Generator that we mentioned earlier. You make your VTuber using a simple character creator interface which has a variety of options for things like your hair, your clothes, and even accessories and attachments. It even has built-in Twitch integration that allows you to use its other built-in features for stream interactions like its own throwing system, similar to tits, and model manipulation. Whoa, whoa, wait, hang on. I'm trying to pair. Whoa, hang on, wait. So chat can have a lot of fun messing with your VTuber. VTuber Kit is easy to install, easy to use, and as a free all-in-one package, it offers a lot of features that make it a great program to start with, and I've sung its praises time and time again. However, the biggest downside is the art, and by that, I don't mean that the art isn't good. I personally like it, but it can be a hit or miss with some as it doesn't follow the typical anime aesthetic that VTubers are known for. And while VTuber Kit walks down its own path, in that sense, this next method actually embraces it. But unlike previous methods mentioned, this isn't a program or application. It's in fact a website called Booth. Here you can find all sorts of useful VTuber things like overlays, assets, and that's right, models. There is a wide variety including both 2D and 3D models. However, you do get what you pay for, so most of the high quality models do require payment. But there are also a lot of free options. And I'll prove it to you. Watch this. I've selected two models to prove my point, one male and one female. As you can see, the art style is very high quality and the tracking is pretty decent as well. These were made using Life 2D and work through VTube Studio. Some of them are even V-Bridger compatible, which means you'll get even higher tracking quality if you have an iPhone at your disposal. However, if you get one of these models and find that the tracking is stiff, simply adjust the parameters in VTube Studio to tune the models to how you move IRL and that will dramatically improve your tracking. These things come with a default parameters, so you kind of have to tweak everything to make sure that they move as smoothly as you move IRL, because everybody is different, so everybody will have different parameters. So keep that in mind. And while we do have one more left on the list, the booth is definitely my personal favorite method, and I would highly recommend it to anyone starting VTubing for the first time, and want a taste of what it's like to get a proper model without having to break the bank or go through the entire process of getting your own personal made model. 
You not only get a variety of models to use free of charge, but you also get valuable experience in learning how to use VTuber essential programs like VTube Studio, so that when you do get your own custom model, you'll be better prepared for it. Now, as with all the other models I've mentioned, there is a downside and that is limitations to what you can do with these models listed in the artist's terms. But thankfully, it all kind of really boils down to credit the original artist properly and don't use the model for monetary gain, like merch and stuff, but income from stream donations or YouTube ad revenues, usually fine. Basically, just, you know, don't be an ass and have some basic respect, then you're Gucci fam. <laughs> but if you do want full ownership with your model, then the last method on this list might be of interest to you. We have good old reliable Vroid Studio. I know, I know, it's old and everybody probably knows it, but there is a reason why I'm mentioning it now, so listen up. First off, I've only mentioned how to get 2D VTubers this entire time. What if we want 3D? What if we want that extra D? Huh? <laughs> then Vroid's got you covered. It follows a very similar formula to the others mentioned in the list as it uses a character creation style interface. But the key difference here is the sheer amount of customizability and control you have in Vroid Studio. You're not just limited to predetermined selection of items to piece together, but rather you have the ability to sculpt your own hair, to paint your own textures, and even create your own clothes. But of course, these are more advanced controls and they do require artistic experience to pull off. However, here's the cool thing. If you go to Booth, you know, that awesome website we mentioned earlier, and search up Vroid, boom, look at all these options. Endless, endless choices of anything you could ever want without ever having to touch a digital paintbrush. Ain't that cool? Ain't that freaking amazing? <laughs> Some go for as little as 200 yen, which is less than $2 USD, and a lot are even totally free of charge. I remade Zana using this method, and if you want to see the entire process of how I did that, I'll link the video here once it's finished and uploaded. It should be soon, hopefully. <laughs> so now that we have all of these cool models to play with, how about we take them out on a test drive to see what each of them can do in action. Hopefully from this, you'll be able to see what you vibe with best and make a decision that you're happy with. And if not, look, they're free. You can just choose another method. <laughs> I've been recently loving this new website called VoopChat, and some of you might have already seen the video I made of it a while back. But for those who don't know, it's basically like Omegle, but for VTubers. It's especially good for those who are just looking for a more casual approach to VTubing, like using models for fun to hang out with others and play games, but not necessarily to make content with or stream. And it's just a really cool and wholesome place to vibe with other people who have the same interests as you. VoopChat recently put in support for OBS virtual camera, and that is huge. Why? Because it officially opens up the floodgates for anyone to be able to use any VTuber model. 2D, 3D, PNG, it doesn't matter, whatever you want, so long as it works in OBS, which most everything basically does. <laughs> but before we dive into it, I'd just like for you guys to hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying this video and getting some use out of the content, as it'll push out the video in the algorithm and hopefully help some more people out too. Now, back to the testing. Here's the game plan. We'll talk to other VTubers using models from each method, and this way I can show you the capabilities of each model to the fullest. Let's begin. First, let's set up OBS virtual camera for VoopChat to use. In OBS, set up a scene and create a source with your desired method. Then open up the virtual camera settings by clicking on this cog wheel here. And select scene as your output type and then select your scene in output selection. My scene name is VoopChat, so I'm just going to select that and then turn on the virtual camera. Then after signing in on VoopChat, simply navigate to your profile on the top right corner and go to the cam and mic tab here, then select OBS Virtual Camera from the drop down. And with that, you're basically all good to go. Also, don't worry about streaming or recording. You can still switch over to any scene you want without affecting the virtual camera because it'll only output what you've selected even if you're on another scene. Now, let's get started. First up, the mannequin model. Is that Kenny from South Park? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, HP? Is that you? Oh my god. <laughs> I am... You, you, <laughs> you caught me in the middle of making a video. <laughs> Surprise. You're so, not safe. Oh we will god. find you anywhere and any day. You oh, want to say hi fun. to YouTube real quick? Hello, YouTube. Like and subscribe. <laughs> now let's switch over to the Nizama Live model. Hey, how's it going? Hello. I see Sibau. I've... I've seen that around, but I have no idea what it means. Can you explain it, means, it please? It means I learned this today, actually. It means oh, no sh way. shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> I so thought cool. it was just like a random word, but no, no, it means shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. write that down. I'm gonna start using it too. That's that's too good. Bye bye. You look like a host, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
And now let's go on to the VTuber kit model. Hello. Are you are you just a Labubu? Labubu. La oh. la <laughs> okay, let's have a gentlemanly discussion. Who is your best waifu? Number one girl. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I see what you mean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I totally get it. I totally get it. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> okay, now time for my favorite, the booth models, male and female variations. That is a nice looking model. Thank you so much. I actually borrowing it. Uh, I got it off booth. On booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a free model. Yeah, but the tracking looks pretty good. Tracking is phenomenal on this one. Yeah, it's really good. I'm only using a webcam too. Well, that's that's a cool looking so set you got I. there. Oh my goodness, is that just a bunch of reverb? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I can do reverb too. Congratulations! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> no way, wait, you modeled your own model? I also made my own animations. Oh, can I see? Uh, yeah, sure. Display introduction. It's voice so, activated! Yeah, this is my, um... <laughs> yes, it's Whoa! kind of voice activated as well. Whoa! Whoa! Holy <laughs> crap, you just nuked that area! And I finally designed a model that I made on Vroid Studio. I know who you are. I actually uh, follow your streams and I'm in your Discord. I actually drew you um, a little heart emote before because I was giving <gasps> out some love on my own stream. Wait, no way. Yeah. Hang on a yeah. second. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah, I used to go by Lunar Little Kitten. Oh, Lunar! <laughs> <laughs> No way! Yeah! That's small crazy! <laughs> small world! I'm glad like more people have been using FoopChat. I'm a social butterfly with social anxiety. My friend's like, hey, you wanna make new friends? Like, I'd love new friends. Then talk in their streams. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, okay, go here. I'm like, what is this? It's called speed friendship. I'm like, I like that. <laughs> That's such a great description though, because it's basically it. I've never made VTuber friends this quick. D same. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Five different ways to start VTubing for free in 2026. Which methods are you gonna try and why? Let me know down in the comments. Or if you know of any other methods, then I'd love to know as well, and I might just cover it in a future video. And of course, credit you in the process, like how I did with the mannequin video, which you can watch here. Ciao!